Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what you're looking at is my kludged up mess I got here. Um, boy, we've been we've been scrambling this week. I had some uh, minor surgery, and now I got a uh, tooth infected. Just not been a good week for me. Plus, all the rains and hurricanes and everything, and there's a lot. A lot of people worse off than I am. But I wanted to quickly show you this new SDR. It's right down here. It's the RTL-SDR.com. And this one is version 3. If you get one of these, you want to get version 3. That's the latest. And I'm using an old Sony laptop. My... <laughs> The laptop I loaned out, I got a lot of old computers that people have given me and I would repair them and give them to people that didn't have computers and I kind of I kind of got out of that and I've got a backlog of computers laying around here and they all kind of work. This one works pretty good. Uh, I use this one actually in my office quite a bit. It, uh, it's a dual core computer, pretty old. And um, it does an okay job trying to keep up with these SDRs and the software that goes with them. Well, I got this, um, when did I get this? I think it was Monday or Tuesday. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been raining heavily all week. So I have not been able to get anything on HF. And finally today it's not raining and actually... I see this bright orange thing in the sky. I think it's called the sun. Wow. Uh, so it's it's going to take a couple of days to dry out. But it it is working uh, despite all that. And then you are listening to China Radio on 9.570. And it's right now, it's, it's, what time is it? 8.45 in the morning here in Clearwater, Florida. United States and I'm gonna put this um, camera on the tripod so that I can manipulate the computer so here we go stand by this um, I would normally when I would be illustrating an SDR I would normally use a screen capture program and just capture what's Oh, good, I just ran over the tripod. Uh, would capture what's on the computer screen, the software driving the SDR. But this computer is too slow to do both the screen capture and the um, controlling of this SDR, so I'm using my video camera. And I apologize because the video quality is probably not that good. And I'm I'm having to set the camera off to one side so I can get to the keyboard, so it's a bad angle. And let's see, should I zoom in a little bit? Let me see what happens. Now nah, I'll just leave it back there. What the heck? I'll just tell you what's going on. So I'm running HD SDR. Um, there are a number of websites that have detailed instructions on how to set up this particular SDR and with at least three software packages with SDR Sharp, HD SDR, and SDR Console version 3. Now I was not able to get SDR Console Re Re revision 3 to work repetitively repetitively it it kept acting up and I think that's because the CPU was just overwhelmed but uh, HD SDR is working pretty good it says that the CPU usage on the HD SDR software is 13 percent and the overall total CPU usage is 70 percent so should be hanging in there now one of the good things about this 
RTL SDR is that it has a pretty good bandwidth of what you can you know put on your screen at one time you can put a maximum of 3.2 megahertz so you can have it scanning 3.2 megahertz and displaying the results let me see what I've got it set to right now I can remember which button that was that's not it oh it's bandwidth dummy okay I've got it set at I've only got it set at uh, 9600 kilohertz and I don't know if I'll bog it down if I set it to the maximum so we're seeing right now we're seeing about 9.4 megahertz to 9.66 I think about there so let's see what we can white this out without crashing it so we can go up to 3.2 megahertz boom 3.2 megahertz and you can see it changed maybe you can see it I don't know if what camera is showing it very well so now we've got from 9.25 to 9.9 .9. okay now I'm not I'm, apparently I'm zoomed in so let's zoom out get the right button here okay now it's zoomed out and I'm showing 8 approximately 8 megahertz to about 11 point something megahertz so 8 and 3 is 11 yeah 11.2 that's about right so you can see you can see a, a broad spectrum now in order for it to do that it's probably really boosted up its use of the CPU let me see if I can see that oh yeah it's now the this is this is a little confusing it says the CPU usage for HDSDR is 40 to 50 mega 50 percent but the overall is 100 percent so I guess they don't count just doing the display update in the CPU usage by the HD SDR software so it's it's pegging here um, let's see if we still got audio actually we oh yeah I turned it down over here yeah audio's fine so it appears this old dual core Sony uh, I don't even know what the model number is uh, it's keeping up at a bandwidth of 3.2 megahertz and that's what I'm looking for is something with a large bandwidth now yesterday and the day before I did some testing with the radio on VHF and UHF and it worked fine uh, it actually comes with this antenna am I on the screen okay this little antenna which extends to that and then it comes with a long one if I can get it down here without killing myself okay I don't know if this is showing up on the camera here's a long one and this is the base which makes these antennas interchangeable they just screw in and this one can extend to about three feet I believe and I tried using tried using it on HF and of course it's in my workshop in this case and I can't pick up anything that's that's a known condition I have to use external antennas in my office or my workshop so I am really amazed this thing sells for on Amazon and I have it in my Amazon store now um, for $24.95 that's it that's the total price you get two antennas and actually you get three there's a little stub little stub 
I think they put on to protect the threads and maybe you could use that for listening to up in the gigahertz range. It goes from, and I have to try to remember, oh I can look it up on my other computer. Stand by here. As usual we're not organized. Uh, RTL-SDR Okay. It goes from 500 kilohertz to 1.7 gigahertz with as much as 3.2 megahertz bandwidth on the screen. So it's working pretty good. Uh, I don't know if its sensitivity is as good as my Fifi. Uh, the sensitivity on the Fifi SDR is really good, but the bandwidth is only 192 kilohertz, so it's a fairly narrow bandwidth. I think that's about all I can say about it right now. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick overview of what it's like. I will be doing some more testing once I get all this set up a little better than the way I just kind of throw it on my workbench out here. So that's the show. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.